Okay, well, the car model is made up of pretty much the main shape is two sort of profiles. So we have the main side profile, which is what we start with here. So if we go into that, it's just one sketch here. You can see there's the side profile of the car. So if you looked at the car from the side without any of the extra bits on it, that's what it would look like there. So click on that. You can extrude. See it's been extruded there by 600 millimeters, which is the width of the car. And take that. That's what we have. We have the main sort of rough starting point for the model. Now if you move this down a bit, you can see that what we do next is to have the top profile added on. So if we go into that and have a look, you can see once again this is what you'd see if you look down on the car. So we've got the nose here and the tail here. So you can see the nose is fairly round, the sides fairly flat and the tail comes in a bit like that. So if we click OK on that, and then go into the actual extrusion. See so what, what's happened here is we've got, usually it would have taken away the material inside the sketch, but what we've done here is to click on this, which means it will take away the material outside of the sketch. So instead of taking away the inside bit, it takes off the corners, which is what we wanted. So we tick that, and if we get this shape, which is more or less the main body of the car. So what we do now is we do a couple of rounds, which rounds off these edges here. So it sort of looks, it'll look a bit more like the actual car body now. You see we've got the nose here and the tail here. Now if we go down a couple more things on the side there, you'll see we've got, we'll be adding in the cockpit and the helmet here. So what those are, so you've got the cockpit there, the helmet here, and the helmet fairing. We've also added in the front wheel arches. These are the bits which cover the front wheels. Now, the helmet is just a revolution, so... So you've got the sketch, it's just half a circle. There, it's quite simple, so... Yes to that, and... It's just, well, just a revolution of the sketch. Then that's done as a side profile, profile there. You can see how that's been drawn, just a very simple shape. And then extruded each side there. So then we get that shape. And we'll do, we'll sort of chamfer it off, make it pointy later on. Now what we do next to add in space for the wheels and those are done in the same way as the helmet that they revolves so if you have a look at the one for the front wheels you go into the sketch there you can see it's sort of profile for the wheel and we've got the same on both sides so we do the front wheels both at the same time and you can see this sketch is sort of moved around so if we change that to maybe 120 or something, you can see that that's moving. It's sort of highlighting the area it's going to take away. So we set that to 360 degrees through the entire way around. We click yes to that and it takes away the material where the wheels will fit. We've also got one for the back wheels, which is pretty much identical there. It has been highlighted. Uh, if we go down a bit more side here, you should start to see now that we've probably started to shape the front wheel arches and we'll be shaping the head fairing as well. So this has been sort of chamfered here and rounded so you can play about making different shapes with those. And also the helmet fairing's been shaped as well. Also you'll notice that we have added in the windshield so have a look at that. That's same as the rest of the bits, just another sketch looking down from the top there. So we click yes to that. And look at that. So you can see that's just been 
through to that from the inside the body there. So we've got that solid shape there. Now once again we'll just use the rounds and chamfers to put that into the shape that we actually want for the model. Let's then see, there we go. Now the main car body is now done. So what we do now is we take it into the assembly. So we'll do that in a separate video in a sec.